Hi, yeah. really happy to be here. Uh, Anna and Nora's work. Uh, I've been eating. I've been eating this book uh, for the last week, and picking three of her poems to read was extremely hard. So I'm going to do three of hers and then two of mine. And the first piece I'm going to do is called Old Lady Poem. Skull-headed old ladies ornamenting their decay with imitation pearls. They walk beside me along the sidewalks, tombstones of black earth and unborn trees. We ride together, endless omnibuses, and I find them beside me at the goodwill, scuffling for old silk underwear and broken enemas. They crowd the markets, buying one lamb chop and a jar of beets. And I have seen them stealing newspapers from my front steps, stuffing them into their huge black bags. Sometimes they smile at me. I made a selection to go with some of her grimmer ones rather than her sexy ones, so it was hard. <laughs> This is called Dope Poem. One of the things about dope is you can never take a piss because the bathroom is always full of people shooting up. And you can't stir your coffee while you wait because all the spoons are gone. And when you find them hidden behind the bathtub, you have to watch the soot off and they don't taste right anyway. And if you take your turn and sit on the john and roll up your sleeve, it's only a hot flash in a cold world. relates, I think, very strongly to anyone who has moved to San Francisco from far away, even if that far away is either coast to America or another continent. It's called The Farmer and the Sailor. I've never seen the ocean. He stands there, looking out over the green of Wisconsin in August, the spoon of barley, the toss of oats, the drift of corn. It's a centennial farm, been in the family over a hundred years. My grandpa broke the land. No one else around here then, just him. It's an island, this place, the farmstead isolate in the high green, out beyond the barn there's another building, the combine, the mower rests there, and he strokes the orange bellies carefully. Gotta have a feel for machinery, I always did, did a lot of harvesting for people in this country, the next country too. There was a bad hailstorm this year, almost went through the roof here, see? The dents show large in this thick metal roof. The building itself is a ship's hull, joined precisely by his weathered hands. Broke all the windows in the house, that ale. Ruined the corn. Planted a second crop, though, and will come out all right if the weather holds fair. He pats the combine gently. No, I've never seen the ocean, but I'd sure like to before I die. Got a daughter out in San Francisco, and my wife went out and visited her a year ago. She went right in the ocean, took off her shoes and lifted up her skirts, and walked right in. Told me it was the prettiest thing she ever saw. He stands there, the inland sailor, master mariner of the grassland, and his eye is blue with distance. about the sea also, and the effect that it has on people, especially the first times that you've experienced it. I'm from an island, but the island is surrounded by freezing water that you cannot walk into or you will die. Um, that's an exaggeration, but it won't, be, it won't be comfortable for you. So I lived in Holland for a short time, and um, this is about the North Sea, which is not as cold as you'd imagine. That time in Holland. In the dark beach in the Dutch summer, my feet are met by the mouth of the ocean. The air is sick with the day's heat still hanging, grey, filthy and spiralling. No longer wet, cold, tangled in the limbs of boys or dancing in the shallows and kicking up foam, salty toned salty from it, or staring pie-eyed at the glowing phosphorescence of it in the puddles when the tide was gone, the tiny green delight of it in the pools before dawn. 
never quite catching it between fingertips, greedy for magic, filling bottles with it only to see that light burn out before me on the other side of the glass. I throw my sandals back to the dust, my knees wet, the hem of my dress heavy, it laps, I sway at the waist, it has the strongest arms, I need go no further, I know what it is to be kissed. Thank you. venison sausage that made my face grey. That's a baby deer. I know. You go. I had a fight with a vegan called Jennifer on New Year's Eve that year. She held a smoke in a can and told me that it is an established scientific fact that meat gives you cancer. I told her she was wrong and if she was right I still didn't care looking over at you wondering about the possibility of every goose overfed coming to implant you with bad cells in your sleep. Tonight, I will take the tender hearts of tiny chickens, try to exercise them in a pot with garlic and cream, present them to you over soft curls of pasta and warm spinach, smiling shyly, look, I made this, knowing that if the creatures ever came for their revenge upon you, my knives are sharper than their ghost beaks. <laughs> and if they should ever get past me, I will pull out your tumors with my bare hands. Ooh. Ooh. 